Well, come everyone, today we have a special video for Diablo 4. In this video, we'll look at one of the game breaking bugs that could affect the game for Diablo 4. So what I want to show you is, have a look at this item that was dropped to me by a sources. I was really shocked about this, and I'll show you guys the exact replay of how this happened. Now, I do not have a level 89 sources, and this is not my item, and this is not my legendary. And similarly, if you look at the legendary aspects, I have been looting random legendary aspects on the floor, and I have a full replay of showing you guys. Now, now thankfully, I have been recording my gameplay as I played the game, so I have proof that I did not do any bugs. This is happening randomly to me. We do have recordings of showing how this happened exactly, and I want to show you guys and also the developers of how this bug can be potentially happening, and also how this can be game breaking. Now, just so you guys know, I did not personally try to abuse anything, and this was just on the ground, and I was about to loot this. So, no abuses over here, I'll show you guys exactly how this happened. Now, on the second part of the video, we'll have a look at the implication of this particular bug, because you can potentially be trading legendaries and also uniques because of this bug. And this can be very scary, especially with the cash market, people selling items for money. So if you guys haven't seen our previous video, we actually talk about there was one ring that was sold in the Chinese Diablo servers for $1,000 USD. And this is incredible, and this is really nuts, right? We really don't want to encourage that, and because if this bug is not fixed, players may be doing this to more extreme extents to trade unique items and also to trade legendaries, which can be very game-breaking. So we'll briefly talk about these implications at the final part of the video. So coming over to my full replay of to show you guys when this exactly happened and how this happened. Now again guys, as a full disclosure, I did not do this to abuse any bugs, this just happened randomly, and thankfully I have recordings and also replays to prove this. So what you're gonna notice is, the first time this happened to me while I was really low level, and I was just running around, it happens to be some random codex I was dropped on the floor. I never noticed this until much later in the game, and I could, no, I was thinking, oh this is not a big deal, right? But what I want to show you guys over here is, I'm just playing normally on my health height and playing with a group of, you know, guildmates from my claim. And here I'm like savage items, selling items. I'm even selling the gems because I'm panicking because I don't want them wait to wait too long, right? So now, what you gonna notice? Did, did you did you see the lights over here? You saw the entire replay, right? So I'm just playing normally, and my people are in my people are in the health height. They're not there to drop items for me. But as I run across, <laughs> did you see did you see those lights? Those are not my items, and let's, let me show you guys. So I'll show you guys the whole replay so you know exactly what happened and how this can be quite game breaking. And I didn't even notice this. The first time I ran past, I didn't notice this. And I was just, you know, storing my items, you know, I was like, okay, I gotta go fast, I gotta go hell tight. people are waiting for me, you know, we're out of time with hell tight, right? And I was like, wait, wait, and then I kind of glimpse on this. So this is an Edge Master's offense, and this is a Stonewell offense. Now the Edge Master my class can use. I don't think my class can use a stone well. So I decided to loot them. I was like, what? My brain froze. I was like, how, how did that happen? So you can see, this is the Edge Master. My class can actually use this one. And this is a sorcerer's item for the stone well offense. So two legendary codex was dropped for me randomly. Now my question is next, we do have a sources in the party, so is a job because of the sources, but I realized the item level is way higher. So it is not the sources that dropped the item for me, I believe. It is a random player that is not in my party, that is in my server that dropped the item. Now of course because I was still playing Helltide, my goal is to spend my you know my obos to gamble so I can go back to Helltide. I actually went the wrong way because I was so bizarre. So if you want to see the full replay, at the end of the video, I'll show you the full replay of how this happened. So this way you know it's not like you know I'm trying to abuse it. And previously I have looted some random jeweled codexes, but those were very low level and I didn't even not bother with them. I was like, okay, just randomly, I don't know what happened. Now, just to prove you guys, I did not secretly level up a mage or sources. I did not secretly level up a jeweled. So currently, I'm level 80 with my account, and I do have a level 4 account as I was testing for one of the leveling bugs. So yes, guys, I did not secretly level a level 80 sources or level 90 sources, as, you, as you're going to see. I wish I did that. <laughs> so no, those are not my items, and those are dropped randomly. 
Now over here, I attached the extended duration of the replay to show you guys, no, we did not abuse anything. I went back to play my game to play Helltide. And I didn't feel like I wanted to, you know, make a guide on this until this time. So this is another instance of me and my friend were just playing the game. And here I'm respecting, I'm looking at my points, I'm looking at how I want to build my character, right? So everything is very standard. I just got my thorn build. I'm still looking into the thorns and I was like, hey, this is not bad. And what I want to show you guys, I want to show you the full extent. So here we did a Legion event. After doing the Legion event, I decided to go back to town because my old pools are full. So notice again, this happened previously as well. Because my old pools are full, I'm going back to town. And let's see what happened. So fast forward a little bit. It is the same town. Notice that this is the same town. This is Cat Badagu. <laughs> Kebadu. <laughs> so this is the same time. I'm running my pathway towards the gambling. So I quickly fast forward the gambling. I have the replay for you guys. I gambled it. My currency is away. Got a few legendaries. You know, no time to look at it. I want to, you know, kind of treat my legendaries and sell them. So what I do is here, I wanted to go around to go to my stash. And I was, as I was running around, and let's say over here. Notice this. This is an ancestral ring that was dropped on the floor. Again, I'm just playing my game normally not abusing anything, everything's legit, I'm just playing my game, I have a full replay, and this happened. Now notice there's a bunch of players over here, and this is my suspicion. Maybe they were dropping items, and maybe they were doing something, I don't know, maybe just innocent players, right? So I don't know, I was actually super full, I couldn't even loot this item. Now let's have a look at the item. So this is a level 89 legendary ring that was you know, crafted, that was not crafted, this is a legendary ring that naturally dropped for ice armor. This was, was rolled by a sources. Notice this is actually rolled. So this is supposed to be an account bound item because it's a legendary. It is also supposed to be an account bound item that is also you know crafted and rolled. You can't trade those items. But somehow I was able to loot this one. Incredible and also very strange, right? Now again, I have the replay to show you guys, and my game, my brain kind of froze. So I was like, huh? <laughs> and I can see there's a bunch of players, but notice their levels are very low. They're level 65, 71, 70. So it is likely it is not the item as well. I don't know how this item appeared. Maybe high level players, they just dropped this item randomly. And they don't bother in disenchanting them. They don't bother using them. They just dropped it. And just happens I came to the same server while the item is still available. And I was able to loot this item. So yes, guys, I have the full replay to show you guys those two instances, and hopefully developers can see the progress of how to fix this one. So just a recount, I was in a party with players just playing. When I teleported back to town, I was gambling. As I was coming back from gambling, I can see items and also codexes drop on the floor, which are supposed to be account bonded. Now, personally, I have not tried or attempted to abuse this bug or duplicate this bug because I think this is game breaking and I don't recommend you guys to do this. But I want to inform the developers that this is happening and this can happen to more extreme methods because if players find ways to abuse this one, this can be very bad. So my biggest concern is if players find a way, of course, you can trade rare items, that's fine. You just drop it, your party member can loot this one. But if players find a ways to trade legendaries and players find a ways to trade unique items, this can quickly break down the game because high level players will be farming a lot of those items at a much higher rate. And then they can be selling those on the market for real money. And this will deteriorate the game and create bots and also farmers for the game. And the community will become less happy because the hard earned unique items is tradable. And this is very scary. So hopefully this video can bring awareness to the developers and please do share the video and maybe let other YouTubers and also streamers know about this one guys because I think this is very game breaking and I do not have any contacts to Diablo developers personally. I wish they could contact me. I can be a really good beta tester because I keep finding you know different random things that happens in the game. So yes, please let the community know and we really want to get this fixed as soon as we can. Now over here, I also want to say a big thank you and also really good job on the developers for fixing this bug. Because I realized previously we had a bug about the experience farming and I believe what viewers are saying, the monsters have now been removed. So big thank you to them for fixing this bug and I'll be changing the title soon because they fixed it. Good, good job. And hopefully this video, after posting of this video, they can be fixing this item trading bug. Now, if you guys ever encounter any of the game breaking bugs or bizarre things happens in Diablo 4, you can let me know on Discord. Feel free to use the Discord link below to come over to the Discord channels and also send me a direct message. And you know, we can have a look into it, we can make a report to developers, and we can make a YouTube video to inform the community. And you'll be getting a special shout out because I think it's really important to making our community more friendly and also more better. 
but if you guys haven't subscribed, it is a really good time to do so, because I'll be covering tons of Diablo 4 related topics and also videos and also guides. We'll be looking into the top meta builds, non-meta builds, leveling up, and also Paragon tricks. We'll also look into the latest events and also official updates, and also changes to different characters and also different builds in the game. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also turn the notification on, because a lot of you who are watching the videos have not subscribed. You can see 80% of the viewers who are watching our videos have not subscribed, so make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for the latest update for Diablo 4. Now over here, we have a full replay of me playing the game and also looting the item properly. I did have this to an extended duration, so if any developers or any viewers out there want to look at how this is happening and make the bug report and also inform the developers, I made it a little longer for you guys to see what is happening. So hopefully we can make a better community and avoid those bugs and take them out of the game. This I can sell. Fate is with you, I can tell. Uh, the winds truly favor you, friend. of value.
not while I'm in town. Come, try your luck. Ah, the, wi hmm. the winds truly favor you, friend. Not while I'm in town. My burden is too great. Now, in case you guys didn't know, I'll be live streaming on Twitch again, and I have just started. So make sure to come over to the links below to join us on Twitch live to say hi, maybe ask me questions or share any tips with the viewers. And while you're here, make sure you follow. And if you do have your Twitch Prime, this is a really good time to use your Twitch Prime over here, supporting us with Twitch Prime. <laughs> and yes, guys, join us as I test build for Diablo and also join us as you play the game and also farm the game. So stay a while and also listen. We'll also be doing some giveaways and also special viewer events in the Diablo as well. Maybe we'll do PvP and also related events in the game as we get to the end game and also help players to go through the dungeons.